City of Dallas and Dallas County leaders are hoping to meet a fast approaching deadline to qualify for federal money that would help pay for the tornado damage. Jack Fink is on this for us live along Midway Road and Killian Drive in Dallas. So, Jack, the deadline with all the destruction, when is that officially? Well, Doug, the deadline is December 20th, and that's after Governor Greg Abbott won an extension from FEMA. We're talking about uninsured losses for public facilities and infrastructure, such as these traffic lights behind me. The problem is this area hasn't yet qualified for FEMA's reimbursement, and that could be costly to city taxpayers. For weeks now, Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins and other leaders have taken FEMA crews on a tour of all the damages to public buildings and infrastructure, such as streets, curbs, and traffic lights. But so far, FEMA estimates public uninsured losses from our area to be $33 million, about $5.5 million short of the threshold. And if this area doesn't qualify for FEMA funding, the city of Dallas would be stuck paying for all of its uninsured losses totaling more than $45 million. I'm concerned because I, I know that the expenses are real and they're going to come out of the, pack, uh, the taxpayers' dollars. Without FEMA money, the city would have to drain its emergency reserves of $35 million and have to find another $10 million in other reserves. The city is hoping to qualify for FEMA funding because the feds would reimburse the city 75% of uninsured losses, worth $34 million. Last week, Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson, Council Members Jennifer Gates, Omar Narvaez, and Lee Kleiman, and others met with U.S. Senator John Cornyn to press their case. An aide tells me Cornyn is working to set up a meeting between the Texas congressional delegation and FEMA's acting administrator as soon as possible. Right now, we're, we're really focused on making sure that we get this gap closed with FEMA. So that's what we're 100% we're focused on. As far as if we don't get that uh, FEMA disaster designation, then we'll start looking at these other options. And the city's chief financial officer tells me those other options could include budget cuts or a tax increase next year, but she says it's still too early to consider that. She says regardless, she would hope that the city would replenish any emergency reserves as quickly as possible. Live in Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.